Hi, good evening. I'm Gordon. And even though the pandemic has tested every aspect of our lives, but it has in many ways brought us together. Now we know who our true heroes are. This entire turbulent period has taught us to unlearn and really We would like to start with an entertainment slot this evening, and it is a dance performance by Lina Dance and Fitness Academy. Lina Dance and Fitness Academy, who was started by two Zumba instructors, Dapale Stacy Wardri, and she is a certified trainer in Zumba toning and the first Zumba trainer from Meghalaya. And Yes, we are in this together and together we will fight. I'd like to tell you that Meghalaya One Heartbeat is the first virtual life event organized by National Health Mission Meghalaya as a platform to connect to the public and bring about awareness on COVID-19 while also propagating a message of hope, 
and positivity during these troubled times. Thank you so very much, Lina Dance and Fitness Academy. I now would like to invite Dr. Husni Giri, the in charge of the Corona Care Center, home-based management response team, to talk about the initiative started by the Department for Home Management for COVID patients. The home-based mobile COVID-19 response team aims to shift the site of care for COVID-19 patients with mild and moderately symptomatic patients to the comfort of their homes, but under medical supervision by providing pre-hospitalization care for those who do not warrant hospitalization, thereby making hospital beds available for those who actually need specialized care. The team of mobile nurses visits the house of the patient, examines and monitors the vitals and enter it in the web app. They are taught to monitor and also enter in the monitoring sheet every four hourly and to WhatsApp all these sheets to the nurses. The number of the night duty nurses is also provided to them. In case the SpO2 or the saturation drops to less than 94%, the temperature is more than 102 degrees Fahrenheit and any worsening of symptoms or they develop breathlessness, they are advised to immediately call the mobile numbers provided to them. The medical officer, under guidance of a specialist, they take the call accordingly, they arrange a transport and a hospital bed for the patient. For COVID positive patients with no symptoms and a home isolation kit is provided, they are taught about monitoring and awake proning. They are advised to take lots of water to hydrate themselves, take nutritious food and they are supposed to stay in a well-ventilated room. They are advised to walk around in the room to prevent the formation of clots. They are advised also to follow the COVID operate behaviours and advised to call the number which is provided to them if the need arises at any point of time. For patients who are having mild symptoms, an adult kit is provided to them where paracetamol tablet, cough syrup, and along with vitamin C, which is provided at 500 mg twice a day, along with ivermectin tablet 12 mg once a day for five days, along with multivitamins. For patients who are children, again with mild symptoms, for them, paracetamol cough syrup is given according to the body weight of the child. Vitamin C tablet 500 mg once a day is given for a child who is more than five years of age. Ivermectin tablet 6 mg once a day is also provided for a period of five days along with multivitamins. In case a patient develops more symptoms, an LRTI kit that is a lower respiratory tract infection kit is also provided in consultation with the medical officer under guidance of a specialist where steroids are to be started, antibiotics and pantoprazole. Again, a patient with all the caregiver, they are advised to call the helpline number 14410 from 7 a.m. to 1 a.m. onwards in case of any emergency and accordingly the medical officer of the zone is informed and action is taken accordingly. The aim of this team is timely identification of worsening of the disease and early referral. Thank you so much Dr. Giri for such use. tips at a time. The Compassionate Ministry International, highlighting the humanitarian and relief efforts by the Compassionate Ministry International, founded by Manoj Kumar Narjinari. So this work we started since last year lockdown and till today is continue and uh, we started with the 10 Kijaras to feed the homeless people. And this is a totally non-government and a non-political, non-religious organization. So our main motto is serving people to restore their broken lives. Like a homeless people, those are alcoholic. And we are giving fooding and we are counseling them. Even we are clothing also. Sometimes if a blessing comes, we give them for medical also. We are feeding the homeless people, especially in this pandemic time, around 200 people. Those are not getting food, especially in the, in the time of need. So through from our ministry, we are feeding. So I like to encourage all of you, me and my team, if we can this much, how much more, if the people of Meghalaya come together. So I believe we'll be able to change and uh, restore many broken uh, lives, those are special for the young generation. So this is the message and to give to all of you. So I believe serving human beings that are serving up, this is and to say, and uh, thank you so much. It's a privilege for me that I'm being a part of this Compassionate Ministry International. I know Pastor Monod since from very long time 
He told me about his ministry and his vision to work, to work between the drug addict people and homeless people. And it gives me a lot of immense joy to be a part of this ministry. Thank you, those who are donating and those who are giving contributions, your love, by giving us essential items uh, financially or by anything. Thank you very much. देखिए हम लोग को ये इतना अच्छा अपॉर्चुनिटी मिला है कम्पैशनेट मिनिस्ट्री यहाँ पे सब लोग ड्रग एडिक लोग हैं और मैं भी एक ड्रग एडिक था मैं एक साल पहले एक साल पहले क्या जिंदगी जी रहा था मेरा कोई ड्रीम नहीं था मैं आ, मेरा कोई आ, होप नहीं था मैं क्या बनेगा जिंदगी में क्या करेगा मैं कुछ पता नहीं था हम थैंक धन्यवाद करना चाहता है कम्पैशनेट मिनिस्ट्री को जो हम जैसे एक ड्रग एडिक को आ, हम जैसे एक आ, मुश्किल इंसान को जो उठा के लेके आया मैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ no matter where you come from no matter what you do your ethnicity the color the race is what truly really matters at the end of the day thank you so very much compassionate ministry international right now i'd like to invite for the entertainment slot shine north He's a 24-year-old renowned artist. He's a professional dancer and a makeup artist. He has been learning dance under Shrimati Monica Chanda for five years now, and he has performed in many government functions as well as private ones. He is um, he is going to present to us a video, and this specific act talks about the current situation's awareness, which one and all should follow to save the lives of oneself and those around them. Well, before the break, you just saw just now Shine North, really educative, very, very informative. And thank you so very much for the act on the current situation's awareness, which one and all should follow to save the lives of uh, oneself and those of uh, us around. We now would like to present a poem recital from Reba Kerlin Lingdor on a conversation with a friend during the COVID-19 lockdown. This will be very interesting. Blake people rock 
kakrteng jonga kadai riba kerlin lengdo na kasnong mauten ka poetry parlok pa iet kabangan sayo ban ai kani ka por ka bamenta ka long kum ka jia kran ka jonga ban i parlok jonga hakum kini ki por ki bamenta leng ba ka video call parlok pa iet parlok pa iet thamsem e jonga la da ban i kendu bat phi phi khot sa phayanga tu nyu ma ko lok am dai banga le sarong ya phi Pinu i banga deng mas pat nga nom ya ku black tea. Paji ngan yeng na jaka wa pin up. Wat ken shi ken e nga ngit ya kata pin map. Yo le se nga kit yo uta u kenyam ken sha. Tuh tip ka long ya pi ka wei na ki lanjing ya da. La da pin pat tip nga ya wer ya pi ban le ay tika. Na ke jing tre bor pa u corona virus ban ya da. U kenyam bom tip lok tip jor ka jad ken cha. Ubasar lo di kiri ka perthai kan thop ya kari India. Wat di ki vaksin, shwa ban ay la deptas la pa ki long kum ki nong hikai ya ka immune system jong pi jong nga. Wey ba la ay ki memory cells kin kan mao dungong ban ya da kin penmi ki antibodies ban ya le persya ya ki virus pa hiyart ma. Ngan itu lepa, andangan po ay sya yin la jong ngan tet ya la kikti da ka ums ad bat ka sabon. Om day bang ala ikan jing ya pi, wats nga wa e ya nga, hanri banya daya la de, nga hapan le kong ta. Kan po ay kapor, baya ukuran na virus, kan met kan sala banya le persya. Portray ru, om dan kam panya hap sotsyo, kan mas pajan kersya. Hakata kapor, nga le syaw ya pi na yeng, ban le syangkai, sya ki loom ki wabay itanat, nga mat biang kil air pajay jay, kubla si bon. Kublai Yapiru, how beautifully curated that was. Thank you so very much, Riba Kerlin Lingdor. For now, we'd like to move on to our second community heroes, that is from Maulai Moro locality. Showcasing the locality of Maulai Moro, where the Rangba Shnong and the community have come together to work with the government to support its residents during COVID-19. Kipur kebangi pelik yuk ni pelik dukan melal ayat tinggi dah video ban pelik dukan tinggi dan tinggi dan kerja terlang kembangi dan ke covid team tinggi dan buat mat keseng semula tinggi kumpul pelik i hangti kaki dukan kaki lat kaki dan kaki semula jom senong kibalong volunteer ban nyerap ban penpek ya kipat ba mat kinong song dukan bat kinong penkhen ya kiki kendon Malah ada kesurka, anda kembali kencing mas, kencat keti, kencing jengai, iwe ni iwe pat. Kumpa kalau mentah, kelihat baik je reti. Banyak aku boleh ruk yang kipat bawa, kilong kibaya snok keti, kibaya kau ngulam yang kencing penbaik, jeng kesurka, lengba kencing tak nangi kesno. Kajing Arab, kabangi Jui Arab, syaki nongtrei jeng ka tenat kekuat kekia, ham tambat ni hangi ni dan ka mauro PHC. Haga ba kidan ki cap. Agar bagi mahu PC dan ini nong tray jangka, kimpat tip ia kira bayu apostip case. Tengi la tip ning kong mengi, kata kerja tengkat ni la keluar ban sim kekerteng, nang tangi la pak ia kira bagi na ia kira high risk contact. Hadir mengi nela bela ia kita baru ni sepak ia kita, segi doktor in charge, segi doktor tipu pet ia mahu PC, ban nyerap lang nang tangi ni. Tengi nang tangi jule tu ban ia pet ia kira jangka ki. Senran lang lagi, nung tray jeng kau kau kia, nang ta nyerap lu lagi, ban sanitize lagi tu kiri jaga, ban disinfect lagi tu kiri jaga, bagi siang, bagi dan kini positif case, kumni lagi sini balong yau, bagi ni kesinong jungi, sibit anda lakang gayo, ni anda lakang lagi dukan barok, ni disinfect dia barok lagi dukan, lagi jaga bagi lompat ba, bagi jeng nok senyang jungi, para senong berthau, ni lagi kiri ban sam lagi resian, lagi yang kisem jungi. Om day tang kibaya la syak song song slung, wat kita lagi yang kisah lagi berduk, kita berketuk, kita miao syuk balik bela, tengi Arab yaki, tengi Aiki kerusian kabam kedi. Yang ni ni dalam continue haduk mentawat mentau senam arah jar fuiru ni dalam yat mentau ni ladap ke raum ke kela ke belai bansam ni lab ai lingba kijing pentep lingba ki P S S jam hakas nong bayu don kini kini lagi long jing kita jenjar kita berduk kita don bam syuk. Kinwan sekmat klem jing liaran, buat nak bentar kini rugi lalong ready, buat ay nak bentar jengki. 
it's really encouraging to know that you know we just can't entirely de be dependent on the government all the time but doing our bit also matters and it matters to a great extent thank you so very much moro for inspiring the other localities as well a little personal care during covid-19 isolate yourself in well ventilated rooms physical distancing is also very very important indoor mask use use a double mask which is a thing now take rest and drink lots of fluids and follow respiratory etiquettes at all times frequently washing of hands with soap and water does the trick as well and don't share personal items with other people clean surfaces that are touched often monitor your symptoms use a separate bathroom and contact physician to get more light to get more clear it gives me immense pleasure right now to introduce to you dr s s nongri the joint director maternal child health and family welfare will be joining us for the question and answer and yes i'd like to tell you at this point of time that you can also send in your questions as he's answering to the few already that's come to us at this moment As you can see, Dr. Nongri will be joining us shortly. And yes, I'd like to take this time to tell you that if you have any queries, if you have any questions, now is the time for you to throw in those questions. As we have uh, Dr. Nongri who will be answering those questions at this point of time. As we're waiting for Dr. Nongri, I'd just like to speak about a few facts about COVID-19. I'm sure most of you all have heard, and you know this by heart and by soul. But it's also important to be reminded every now and then. Cover both your mouth and nose. Okay, that's very very important. Double mask, as I said earlier, is also a crucial thing. And if you sanitize, make sure that your sanitizer has at least 60% of alcohol content. and 6 feet apart that's a given you all should follow this and um, you know also keep in mind that it affects all age groups this is the time where it's getting much stronger and we need to be there and to know for a fact that uh, one can never be certain whether you know it'll just come to a certain age group but keeping in mind that it is very very important we'll be joined uh, shortly by dr s s nongri the joint director hello doctor there good evening Hello yes yes hi good evening thank you so very much for the time doctor and we'd like to acknowledge the fact that you've been you know every now and then keeping us informed at the right time and for being there at the battlefield thank you so much for your services we would like to start with uh, the first question that came from kong nongri what a coincidence and uh, she says that her neighbor took the vaccine and it's the after effect we'd like to know doctor if that is a normal thing can can you hear me doctor hello yes can you hear me doctor i cannot hear you properly can you hear me doctor now i can hear you but it's cracking the voice is cracking okay i would just i would just like to ask you can you hear me now am i clear doctor Okay. Okay. I just like a question has come in, and uh, this question is regarding uh, the neighbor of this person concerned, Kong Nongbri, who took the vaccine and it took her five days to recover from the after effects. Is that normal, doctor, to have uh, five days of the effects of the vaccine? Yeah, that is uh, it's normal only because see, the uh, body system is that it will try to fight back to produce the antibodies. Uh, so the system is that some of them are within one day, they are all, the system goes away. Some of them mm -hmm. this also it's a it's a normal process where uh, 
vaccine which have received, the body tries to react to that vaccine to produce these antibodies. Mm -hmm. So according to you, it's an individualistic uh, feeling as to how one person would react to another, yeah? Regarding the virus, the, 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 the vaccine? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. Another question comes in from, uh, from, from Mr. Thongni here. And uh, he said that his father is diabetic and he's got high, he's got high BP. And he's reluctant to take the vaccine. Vaccine. Again, again, the voice is clear. Okay, I will repeat myself again. Um, you know, uh, Mr. Thongni here says that his father is diabetic and he's got high BP as well. Okay? I think we have lost him. Okay, all right. So we will continue with these questions when we have our live session next. But right now, we would like to move on to another aspect. And this is such warmth, I tell you, of the Megalians from around the world who unite in solidarity as they send their messages for Megalaya and its people. It's beautiful to know that though far away from home, their love, their concern will always bring them back to the Pine City. So uh, let's hear and let's see what uh, these people uh, who live in Meghalaya and uh, who are from Meghalaya rather, living currently abroad, what they've got to say. This is One Home, One World. Hello, my beautiful people in Shillong. My name is Anne. I am now a resident of Australia. And I'm so lucky to tell you that life in Australia has gone back to normal. That's because when we did have the lockdown, we, each and every one of us, adhered to the strict rules that the government had implied on us. And today we can safely say that we have only about 10 cases. That's not the case with India and uh, the number of cases in Shillong are rising by the day. And it is so sad to hear so many young lives been taken to. I have to tell you that unless each and every one of you do your bit, the government cannot help you to eradicate this crazy disease. It is necessary for you to spread awareness amongst all the people in Meghalaya and in India. I really want to get this disease under control so we too can come back to Shillong, to our beloved Shillong and to see and smell the beautiful, clean, fresh air that Shillong reckons us. I urge all of you to take care. My prayers are with you and I know that God will be with us. God bless each one of you. Nadi kong iba na po silo sa mga siyong nasa siya ni siya po bilag. Nalayo mga tuli na po kikor kubor mo por silong times online. Nalayo isang uba kajing pang jung nukhnyang ula por haro katakata o karijung i sila jung i broke away. Nakapat ipibaro pa pili pinchi minutika vaccination niki ang kaay ka sorkar kung pa pinlat na kajing pang bro kibay i kibat honyo pili kinlat na po kani kajing pang kajing shitom lat na kajing tia hospital lat na kadi doctor kib doctor kinos kitre shitom nam ta jungi Yerap ingi bangin kau ingin kia, gini bangin persang, bangin dek kuat, bangin teh ila kiti, bangin deng laki mask. Kajing terus tom jungki, kajing esha jungpi kamu leno ay. 
blei barabol undon tengkat berpi ni barok ngia sya istom yuni uju kenyang jipang satelak kepertai tangkat ni ngak kuak mengenong ublei undon tengkat berpi barabol hey shlan by thinking about you we hope and pray every day that things get better soon back home and for the rest of India. Thank you to all the uh, frontline workers for all the work that they have done and dedication um, throughout this time to keep all of us safe. Everyone in Shillong, be clan, stay together and work as a community. We can beat this. Callum also says we can beat this. And we're always thinking of you. Everyone here always asks Hello. how everyone is and sends their, their prayers and thoughts. Ah. Callum also sends his thoughts and prayers and his wishes. Much love from the Tears of Identum family here Hello. in the United States. Are you deafy? Hello everybody, I'm reaching out to my friends and family in Shillong. It's been a terrible year and a half and if there was ever a time I wanted to be at home, it would be now. We have all lost somebody to this terrible pandemic and my heart felt condolences to all of you who's lost a loved one. All I can say is please stay positive. Keep your hopes high and your faith strong. We will come out of this someday. I know that someday seems to be far away, but it isn't because each day we get up and stay positive, we are closer to that someday. Each day our health workers and frontline workers work to save lives, we are near it. Each day we get vaccinated, we are closer to that someday. All of us have been in this through together. And I would like to thank each and every one of you who's reached out to me through your WhatsApp messages, your phone calls, your texts. And I'm hoping that this short message of mine helps you move forward as well. Thank you so very much, uh, Mrs. Mary from Australia, uh, Kong Eva, who's currently living in the United Kingdom. Mrs. Uh, Kerry Muppy from the United States of America. And just now you heard Mrs. Rajani from Canada. It's really beautiful to know that, uh, you know, though far away from home, their love and their concern will always bring them back to the Pine City. Kublai Shibon and stay safe. And thank you so very much for being here this evening. We have come to the end of this virtual live event and we will meet very, very soon again. And Before I go, I'd like to tell you fighting one common enemy. And, uh, you know, I know that I speak this in good faith that it will end soon. And when it does, we'll all come out much stronger. Our thoughts and our prayers to those fighting the virus currently and our thoughts to those who've loved their, um, you know, their, their near and dear ones who have succumbed to the COVID-19 virus. National Health Mission honors your loved ones. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay indoors. And Kublai Shibon. Good night.